guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Courtney and I've been a part-time reseller since 2018. And today I have a huge haul from one of my consignment clients. I'm actually probably gonna have to split this up into a couple, if not three videos, because she sent me, I think five or six of these huge storage bags full of clothing for me to resell. Um, so a little bit of backstory about her. She is the wife of an MLB player, um, which professional baseball player. And she, I would consider her as like a micro influencer. She's got like tens of thousands of followers on Instagram and she does a lot of brand deals with different brands. She does a lot of like styled photos. So she'll order things from like Zara and different places like that you know, stage a photo, wear it out once, and then move on to the next item. So a lot of the things that she gives me are virtually new without tags. Obviously, I don't list them that way, but I mean, there's nowhere. They've been worn and washed maybe one time, if that. Some cases, I'm sure they were just tried on for a photo um, and then taken back off. But the types of brands that I've received from her in the past are a lot of Zara, but the good thing about it is that it's all current, trendy. We've received a lot of blogger favorites um, from her. Um, and it's typically stuff that's still on the website when I get it from her. So lots of Zara, all new label, um, a lot of Revolve brands. Some of them I've heard of, some of them I haven't heard of. Uh, let's see what else. Lots of Lululemon, lots of Aloe Yoga. Um, every single time I get a haul from her, I get multiple brands that I've never heard of. They always end up being good. Occasionally I'll get, you know, pieces that I typically wouldn't list. Like, you know, every once in a while I'll get something like Nasty Gal or um, like an Amazon brand or something like that. But, you know, those pieces, those types of brands are few and far between. So for the most part, I'm always really, really happy with um, what I get from her. When she reached out to me this time, she said that her husband actually had like a haul of new attacks designer items from brands like Off-White, Versace, Dolce & Gabbana, things like that, that he was considering sending to me to resell. But when I went to pick up the items, she said that he wanted to go through it one more time before he decided what to sell and what not to sell. So the next time I do a haul from her, she said any of the pieces he decided he doesn't want to to keep, he will send my way. And she said they're all new attacks because apparently he ordered them and didn't realize it was a no return policy type of website or situation and um so he stuck with them now It'll be fun to look forward to but she said this haul consists of clothing shoes and a handful of accessories uh also some swim and some outerwear so that should be good obviously we're moving out of the swim season but into the outerwear season um so yeah let's go ahead and dive in i'm going to try to get through like two bags per video and see what we're looking at with time. I did kind of like peruse through these just to see, like generally speaking, if it's what I was expecting and, and it is. I haven't done any deep dives on any of this stuff, but um, I can say that I'm super happy with what I saw just from flipping through a few pieces. This first piece is super cute. It's new label Zara. And I think I actually sold this exact blazer for her in a green color recently. It's linen if I remember correctly. It does have shoulder pads and it looks like there's a matching pair of trousers. Um, let's see, the pants are a small, let's see what the blazer is. Blazers are small as well. I always love when I get the matching size for her set. Sometimes she'll do like an extra small top and a small bottom and that'll still sell, but not quite as easily as if they were the same. These are super cute. I really wish that I would have received these like when Barbie core was all the rage. Not that it's, I don't think it's fully gone away yet, but it's definitely died down. Cute patch pockets on the back. So I'm sure that'll sell well. Just based off how the green one did, I wouldn't be surprised if that goes quickly. All right, we've got some more Zara. This I'm excited about, it's a shacket. Oversized plaid, it's got pockets on the front. Let's see, this is a size, also a size small. Definitely oversized though. I think this could fit up to a size large, maybe even an extra large. So that'll be good. More Zara. This is another shacket. This one's got a di different texture. Um, the last one was almost like a fuzzy, like flannel type material. This is a knit. So it almost feels like a blazer 
type of material. Like it's giving, you know, that like Chanel knit, uh, what do they call it? Tweed vibe. Reminds me a lot of that. This one is a medium. Um, I think that could probably fit up to a size large. All right, got some more outerwear. This one is a size small Urban Outfitters and it looks like it's a faux leather biker jacket. I'm sure this will sell well. It is cropped, so a little bit shorter. I need to speed things up. We got a lot to go through. All right, what do we have here? All right, more Zara. This is a size medium to large. And what is this? Another shacket. I guess she went through a shacket phase and is no longer in it because she's getting rid of them all. But this is super cute. It's almost like a, what is that? Herringbone? I'm the worst when it comes to prints. I can never remember what's what. Other than like gingham, I'm pretty good at. Seersucker, I'm good at. But any, like all those ones that look the same, I got no idea. All right, this is Risa, size small. I wanna say this is a Revolve brand. I, she's sent it to me before. I think maybe in like her very first haul. So it looks like this is just a semi sheer like tie front. Excuse me, I'm trying to film. She has a bandaid on her tail because she's so happy all the time that she wags her tail so hard and hits doors and walls and it started bleeding. So I had to put a bandaid on it. All right, anyways, moving on. We've got more Zara. This is gonna be a Zara heavy haul. These are a size small. It's another pair of trousers. Ooh, these are cute. Wide leg, high-waisted. These are super cute. I bet these will sell well. Just a good closet staple for somebody. Alrighty. More Zara. These are a faux leather legging. Not legging. Pant. Size small. Oh, they're, uh, what are these called? Cargo. Cargo pant. Faux leather. I don't know if I've ever seen a faux leather cargo pant. And it's almost like a jogger at the bottom. It's got these little snap pockets on the back. Super cute. Another really good thing about selling for her is that because she does styled photos, she's given me permission to go to her Instagram if I can't find a stock photo or if the stock photo isn't cute. She said that I could use her styled photos of her in the item. So sometimes I don't even look for stock photos. I just use what she already has on her Instagram feed. So, all right. She does like this brand, Princess Polly. And Princess Polly sells. I believe this is one of those types of brands that is only sold online. Like they don't sell it in store. So, um, so yeah, most people, you know, go to the resale market to find it if they don't want to pay full price. These are a size eight. So obviously she may be one of them oversized. It looks like there's a little mark on this one. So I'll have to run this through the wash, but this is almost like a, it's not waffle knit because waffle knit like goes in. These are like protruding. So I don't know what the heck you'd call this. If you know, comment below and let me know. These are a jogger and I think I saw, did I make that up? I thought I saw a matching top. I don't know. We'll, we'll see if we come across a matching top. I could have sworn that I saw a matching top. Tan and lines um, by, it says it's small right there, Savon Ayla. I don't know if that's how you say that, but I don't know if they sell more than just uh, like athleisure. I know they do swim and I know they do like athletic wear. I don't know if they do anything beyond that, but I've definitely sold both their swim and their athletic pieces. Um, these are a size medium, just a pair of leggings. All right, we've got a little sports bra. This one is Aloe Yoga. It's got a little mesh panel at the bottom. Sheer. Let's see, what size, what size? Great, no size. All right, so I'm gonna have to measure this one. I mean, it's the good thing about this, about the fact that it's, you know, hers is I know she's a size extra small to small. You know, it kind of narrows down the sizing for me. 
Let's see. All right, we've got another pair of tannin lines. This one does have some significant pilling, but I should be able to get that off with my sweater shaver, no problem. So yeah, just a regular legging. All right, I knew what this was the second I saw the red. We've got Spanx. These are like a reptile faux leather size small. They're in good shape. Let me look and see, make sure the butt looks good. Yeah, looks pretty good. So yeah, these are like a reptile print. I don't think it's snake. I don't know what you'd consider that lizard maybe. I don't know, I'll look it up and see. Oh yeah, I should have told you guys, she is a Shimmy Your Moo Moo girl through and through. She has a ton of Shimmy Your Moo Moo. Moo Moo. <laughs> Moo, -moo. <laughs> Size small. Looks like this is a maxi dress. This may be one of their bridesmaids dresses from their bridesmaids line. So it's just black, solid, sleeveless, maybe off the shoulder because that's a wide neck. So I think it's probably like slightly off the shoulder. That's beautiful. I'll have to inspect that one to make sure there's no runs or pulls. That is one thing about Shimmer Moo Moo. In my opinion, the quality of Shimmer Moo Moo is not great. Um, and it is really prone to snagging. I'll have to look that over and see. All right, more Spanx, size small. These are like a snake print, brown faux leather. Spanx used to do really good for me and has definitely slowed down. Okay, nice. This is a matching sports bra to one of those tan and lines pair of leggings. This is a size medium. All right, we've got a new tags. Show me your moo moo little crop top in the satin green color. Looks like it doesn't have retail on it. This is a size small. All right, we got our first Lululemon piece. It's just like a long, it's either a long sports bra or a short tank top, like crop top. So. Logos on the back there. Let's see what size. Size six. And all of her Lulu that she's ever sent me has been that newer label that has like the style code and everything around it. So it's always really easy to find like stock photos and details for those. All right. Up next is Wilfred, which is an Aritzia brand. I don't pick it up much anymore when I'm outsourcing, but this is really cute and trendy. I'm sure this will sell. It won't sell for a fortune, but because it's just a tank top, but we'll see. I don't know. I have been surprised by some of her pieces that I was like, oh, this is nothing. Like, for example, um, an Urban Outfitters Sherpa jacket that she sent me one time. It had like the yin yang or yin yang print all over it and apparently it was like it went viral and it sold for like I want to say like $120 I'll put the sold listing for what it sold for up here and it was like less than a day that it sold so which was wild so some of her stuff surprises me she's definitely like in the know for like what's in style what's trending like what other bloggers and influencers are wearing um and she has like the best and the most recent stuff this is another aloe sports bra it's like a burgundy maroon color got a size in this one size small all right got some more lulu just a little crop tank with sheer panels We'll have to measure that one. I doubt that one has a size because it doesn't have any built-in pads. All right, we've got another one of these Wilfred Aritzia tank tops. So we've got a white and a black one. I may look into bundling those up to see if it'll help boost the listing. All right, more Lululemon. This is just a white tank. size size six more spanks faux leather these are actually bike shorts though size small 
I wonder if those will do better than the actual leggings. Oh, I think this, this is a pair of Lululemon leggings and I think these match the first, let me see. Yeah. Whoop. Whoop. And an avalanche over here. Yeah. So these, this is a set. Um, I'll have to look and see if they're the same size. I think these are the leggings that don't have the pockets. Great. So I'll just have to measure them and see. Um, but yeah, those got a little bit of pilling. I'll have to do a little bit of work on those. New Attack Zara, newer label. This is a size medium to large. It's this little ribbed tank with, what are those called? Not puka shells. Puka shells are those terrible necklaces that I wore in the 90s. I don't remember what those are called, but those little beads, just a little crop top, really cute. Retailed for, um, okay. We're gonna have to look into this one. Y'all look at that retail. That is not normal for Zara. I wonder if that's in a different, maybe it's a different currency. The sticker is in Spanish. I don't know. It also says limited, no, limitless contour collection. So yeah, I have no idea. Maybe it's worth $500. If it is, that's wild. But for some reason, I doubt that. We'll see. I'll see what I can find and I'll put it on the screen. All right, more Lululemon. This is like a hunter green color, just that same style. It's convenient that these are all the same style. I guess she like doesn't like this style anymore, but I'll be able to find the name of the first one and then just find the different colorways. Also a size six. All right, we've got some denim here. No shocker, Zara, size six. These are heavily distressed, wide leg, got a slight flare to them, pockets on the back. Zara denim is so cute and so trendy, but honestly, it doesn't do that great for me. We've got some Princess Polly jeans and a black wash, size six. Looks like maybe these have a spot. It kind of looks like an oil stain or a grease stain. So what I'll do for that is I'll put um, either clear or blue Dawn dish soap on it, scrub it in with a toothbrush, leave it for like 10 to 15 minutes and then throw it in the wash. And nine times out of 10, it comes right out. So I am not scared of that. Okay, this is that matching top that I was looking for earlier. It matches that Princess Polly set of joggers kind of got like that puffy print. This is a size eight. I think the pants were also a size eight, so that's nice. So we'll put those together and sell them as a set. This is Wilfred Free, Ritzia, but this is a cap sleeve, what do you call this, onesie? I mean, technically it's a jumpsuit, but it's like a bodycon, like fitted jumpsuit. My guess is she probably wore this when she was pregnant. She wore a lot of like bodycon style things to accentuate her bump. So yeah, I'll have to look this up. I mean, this is a pretty substantial piece for Wilfred. Right. Looks like this might be the same item, but long sleeve and in black. And this one's new with tags. So it looks like this retailed for $98. So, you know, resale, mm, maybe like 50 to 75 if I had to guess. The fact that it's new with tags. So, all right, that wraps up bag one. Let's move on. I'm going to put all this back in here and we'll move on to bag two. All right, bag number two. This one feels like it has a lot less in it. That first one was really, really full and really heavy. All right, let's see what we got. 
Oh, I think this might be part of a set that goes with that first Show Me Your Moo Moo crop top. Size small, this is a blazer. Well, I mean, I guess you consider it a blazer for all intents and purposes. It's got these big old buttons on it. New tags, and then looks like a matching skirt. Yeah, skirt. Also a size small, so that's great. They're all the same size. I'll definitely list those together as a set. And a good thing about Show Me Your Moo Moo, the thing that I love about them, is that they usually on their interior tag put the name of the item. So this one's called the All Night Skort. So it makes looking up stock photos extremely easy. It does like half the work for you. All right, Bardot. I don't normally sell this brand, but this is stunning. It's got like, like a corset almost top. This is very sheer. You'd have to wear some nips with that. Um, I'd say like a long midi, like in between a midi and a maxi. This is really, really pretty. I'll have to inspect it for flaws, but I feel like this would be the most flattering style like the girls would sit nicely here and then it's got a big cut out in the back with a slit a giant slit at the bottom so that would be really pretty i bet that was stunning on her she is super super tan so i bet that was cute oh this is really nice so this is lovers and friends it's a brand that she loves she's sent me a lot of lovers and friends before this is a size small but this is a really substantial piece it's like, uh, let me see if I can zip it. All right, so it's like a cropped faux leather pepper jacket. Looks like it's in perfect condition. So Lovers and Friends is sold a lot on Revolve and some other more substantial pieces can go for quite a bit. And for quite a bit, I mean like 50 to to $100, um, like really substantial pieces. Maybe like this one could go for over, over $100. i will have to do some comps. I've never sold anything like that before from them, so we'll just have to see. Every time I roll up to her house to pick up, like, oh, y'all didn't tell me it was all cattywampus. Um, every time I roll up to her house to pick up a consignment haul, I literally look like a troll. Like I crawled out from under a bridge and half the time she's in like sweats and, and all of that too, yet somehow looks fully put together. And I'm like, yeah, don't judge me. You know, I've been working on resale all day, but she's the sweetest thing ever. Like she would never say anything, but I'm the kind of person that will like call out the elephant in the room, like the fact that I look like absolute garbage, like I'm going to say it before you can think it. So <laughs> that's just how it roll. Uh, up next is Princess Polly, new with tags. This is a size four, just this little slinky crop top. Then it looks like we've got maybe a matching skirt, also new with tags. So this is an example of what I was saying earlier. So what did I say that was? A size, nope, I lied, they're the same size, size four. And that's not a spot, that's just the tag inside. So this is a little midi skirt. That's a cute little set, it's got some ruching on the side. And Princess Polly is always really easy to find stock photos for. Half the time, just like Zara, the stuff that she's having me sell is still on the website, so. I just copy the full description on the website, take the stock photo, upload it, and it's good to go. More Princess Polly. And I'd say like Princess Polly, in my experience, it sells for anywhere from like $20 to $40, give or take, um, depending on the item. This is just like a, what is this, Tiger? It's a midi, midi? Yeah, I'd say midi. It's got a big slit. It's got ruching with a tie here. Um, it's lined about halfway down and then semi sheer from there on. All right, this is what was taken up the entire bag. No wonder it was so light. Let me see if I can snap this to give you guys the full effect. I will say that I think they use 
if you've ever heard of like the closet odor absorbers, it's like a cedar block um, or cedar blocks. I think they must have some cedar element in their closets because I definitely smell cedar on their clothes. And I actually like they are absolute health nuts. And I know for a hundred percent fact, they do not smoke cigarettes. And one thing that I sold of hers, I got a bad review saying that it reeked like cigarettes. And I have a very, very sensitive nose for cigarettes. And I know for a fact, I would not have sold anything that smelled like cigarettes. So what I've gathered or what I figured is that maybe they picked up on the scent of the cedar because the items do smell like that and thought it was cigarettes, but really it was just wood. Um, so what I've started doing for all of her items is making a note that says, these items were stored in a closet with a you know cedar block to reduce odor. Um, it does have a slight scent of cedar, like please be aware of this prior to purchase, just to cover all bases, because I don't want that to happen again. All right, so this one is Free People Movement. It's this cute checkered snap up Sherpa jacket. This is really, really similar to that one I was just telling you guys about the Yin Yang um, Urban Outfitters one that sold for over $100. So it'd be really nice if this one does the same. But here's the Free People Movement tag. It's a size medium. It's in pretty good condition. You know, Sherpa can get quite a bit of like matting if it's worn a lot. There's that. This is the Free People Movement logo. I've said it before, but I swear it's just like a corn on the cob basically what it looks like but anyways um what was I saying Sherpa so I have this little tool I'll show you guys I ordered this thing off Amazon and I want to say I learned about this from Denali from El Ducho but it is supposed to be a deep pillar I believe but I just use it, it can be kind of like harsh and aggressive on normal fabric. So I only use this to fluff Sherpa. So like if I were to have like a matted section, you just kind of brush it and it fluffs it up. Um, it does in the sit at the same time, like pill off. I don't know if you can see the fuzzies on there that came off, but um, it will pull any loose strut, strets, strings slash threads um, off, but but yeah, it just kind of fluffs it up, makes it look a little bit nicer. The, I also use this on like vintage Columbia fleece and things like that. Just anything that really get can get matted. It, it doesn't make it perfect, but it definitely makes it look a lot better than it did matted. All right, looks like, let me see if I can tie this. The first time I got a haul from her, it was when they moved and it was like her first real closet clean out like purge and she sent me I want to say it was six or eight like landscaping garbage bags full of clothes like I'd probably say 40% of them knew with tags I was so overwhelmed it took me like six months to list it all it was wild this is a matching top to that midi skirt it's just a little tie front princess Polly this one's a size four as well long sleeve, new a tag. So all these Princess Polly sets typically do really well. All right, this is a brand that she seemed to like, seems to like a lot lately. I'd never heard of it before receiving it in her haul. It's SLA The Label. And I've sold a few things for her. Um, I'm trying to think. I know I've sold a couple of little like green mini dresses and they're all like this kind of like shimmery, sparkly, like it, the entire website reminds me, like if somebody could curate an outfit, like, or a closet for Taylor Swift, the Eros tour, like this brand has done that. Like everything, like I have currently in my closet have a uh, satin pink, blazer and trouser like flare leg suit set so cute like it's one that you don't wear a shirt under so it's like a deep v um i've sold too many dresses with this material it was green i want to say they sold for like over 50 dollars each maybe i'll put the sold listings on the screen and then it looks like this is another matching set so this is a little like bralette um 
size medium for that. And then it looks like this might be a three piece set. So we've got a pair of matching trousers, high waisted. A girl that I work with is hands down the biggest Taylor Swift fan that I've ever met in my entire life. And when I was thumbing through these bags, just to get an idea of what we had, I saw this set and she sent me, or I sent her pictures of it, of the stock photo. And she was like, oh my God, stop it right now. I need that. And I was like, I know a girl had your name written all over it. This is a girl that hand rhinestone, like over a hundred thousand rhinestones on a cowboy hat for the Eras tour concert. Absolutely wild. Like I wish... I was committed to anything as much as she's committed to Taylor Swift and being a fan. It's nuts. So it looks like the blazer is a medium. The rest is a small. This is oversized. Let me see if it buttons. All right, there we go. Super cute. So you wear that little bralette underneath, wear this on top with those trousers. That would be a perfect Eras Tour concert outfit. And that's it for bag number two. So let me see. One, two, We've got three bags left. Maybe we'll do like half of another bag and then we'll split up the last two bags and the last half of that bag for another video. Let me get all this back in here. Alrighty, let's see. All right, here's some more of that SLA the label. This one is new with tag, size small. And this is the first semi-solid piece I've ever received from them. Um, it's got lots of glitter on it because there's another glittery piece in there, but it does have some like bedazzled sleeves. It looks like maybe we're missing one of the rhinestones there. So I'll have to note that in the listing. I'm gonna have to lint roll this thing because geez, there's glitter everywhere. So, super cute, just oversized blazer. I'm missing Bentley. He, I don't know if I've told you guys, but Bentley is 14 and a half. He's been with me since college, and he is diabetic and epileptic. He also has crippling anxiety, so he takes more, like probably double the pills that I take um, on a daily basis. And in May, he had his first grand mal seizure and he's been medicated for it ever since. But yesterday he had his second grand mal seizure and I was by myself. My husband was helping family out and I rushed him to the emergency vet after, after it ended, it lasted about five minutes. And, um, you know, they got him stable $800 later, such a rip off, but I will spare no expense for my baby. Um, so today he is at his regular vet doing what they call a glucose curve test where they test his glucose like every hour, every two hours throughout the day so that they can get like a chart of like how high it is, how low it is. Basically it's to make sure that the amount of insulin that he's on is the proper amount. Um, so he takes a six unit insulin shot every 12 hours, so 7 a.m. and 7 p.m um every day so anyways he's not in the room with us today but miss remy is isn't it remy hi pretty girl she's lonely without her brother um okay so looks like she did throw in a couple pieces from her husband uh this is just an adidas shirt it's got a graphic back what does that say greetings from freedom so um, don't love selling, you know, I've tried selling some of his stuff. I think it would help if I could like tag his name and his team on it. Cause you know, he had, he, he's a professional baseball player and he plays like he's not just a bench warmer. Um, and he has quite a big following. So if I could tag his name, I'm sure that we could sell his stuff a lot better. But, um, obviously I respect their privacy and have never done that. So we just wait like normal people. Like any Joe Schmo owned it. Um, looks like this might be a piece of his as well. It's so funny because she is so like trendy and like fashion forward and wears like stuff that you'd see on a runway. And then he wears lots of like Adidas and Nike and 
athletic stuff. So he does some of his stuff. He has sent like Madewell and Vince and All Saints and things like that, but it's still very basic compared to her style. So this is a very large Adidas jacket. Um, he is super, super tall, but he is slim, but I think he likes to wear stuff oversized. So like this is a 2XL. He is definitely not like there's nothing 2XL about him, but I think maybe because he's so tall. Remy, I'm gonna have to take that collar off of you. I'm trying to film a video, girlfriend. What are you doing? Huh? Anyways, it's got a hood on it. Um, it's got a really subtle, this is like what you call monochrome, where we've talked about it before. It's the same color design on the same color, but it's really subtle. From afar, it kind of looks like a, uh, a legal substance that is a plant. I don't know if I can say that word on YouTube, so I'm not going to, but um, up close, you can tell it's the Adidas, like what's it called, trefoil. Um, if y'all haven't learned yet, I am the absolute worst at pronouncing things. But the good thing is, is that I'm highly aware of it, so I can at least laugh at myself when I'm trying. All right, I recognize this brand. I want to say this, isn't this the brand that everyone's talking about for swimsuits? All right, I'm going to have to take her collar off. Let me get that collar. Thank you. Okay, um, this V brand. Should I try? I shouldn't. I'll embarrass myself. So that V brand, I think everyone has been talking about it being a good swim trunk brand. Um... It looks like this is like a Hawaiian style shirt and it says it was a collaboration with Bloomingdale. So this is semi sheer. Let me see what material this is. I want to say linen because of the look of it, but it's thin. Cotton, cotton and linen. So it's a cotton linen blend. Um, it's not fully buttoned, but the buttons are all there. I just checked. So I have no idea what this will go for. I should be putting comps on the screen for you guys. So. All right, looks like we have another one of these SLA, the label blazers that we had in the last bag. This one is new with tags. It's the gold Paloma blazer. I guess maybe this one's a small and I think the last one was a medium. So I guess she ordered both sizes to see what fit best. We'll list whatever, if I have all three pieces in the same size, I will list those together as a set and then I'll list the one that's a different size on its own. And what I've done in the past for the sets is I'll do multiple listings. So I'll do one with it fully listed as a set, and then I'll break it out as individual items in its own listings as well. And then I just have to remember if like an individual piece sells, I have to go delist the set because one of the pieces in the set sold. All right, it looks like we have another Princess Polly set here. This is a US size six. This is cute. It's just like a semi sheer uh, button down, like easy breezy, flowy, beachy. I'll use a lot of keywords on that one. And it looks like we have a matching pair of shorts, also a size six. These would be the cutest swim cover up. They're definitely sheer, so I don't know how else you'd be able to wear them unless you go in commando, but that's risky business. All right, I think we'll do one more piece um, and then we will hop over to the second video to do the rest. So this is one more Princess Polly piece, size six. Let me... She must have tried all these on before sending them over to me because everything's like unbuttoned, unzipped, undone. So another pair of trousers, really similar to those Zara ones that we did in the beginning from the first bag, but these are like a satin. So I'll have to look and make sure there's no snags. They have pockets, so super cute. So yeah, that's everything for the first round of this consignment client haul. I think we got some pretty good stuff. I'm definitely probably most excited about the Lovers and Friends puffer like bomber jacket, cropped bomber jacket. I think that one will do really well. And I'm also like the Zara pieces, they won't go for a fortune each, but they typically sell so quickly and for 30 to $50. Um, I'm totally happy with that. Um, if I didn't mention it already, 
I know I've mentioned it in previous videos, but I don't think I've said it here. Um, I charge this specific consignment client a 30% consignment fee. Um, and on some pieces like the Princess Polly that'll sell for $20 to $40, like I'm not coming out with a ton of money, but in my opinion, like just based on the quality of items and you know, how often she gives me items, like I am comfortable with that 30% mark. Um, I know some other people charge more and that's totally fine. And I'm not saying that I won't charge more in the future um, or switch it up to where like a certain, it has to sell for a certain amount to be the 30% consignment fee. Like, I don't know yet. Um, but for now I'm comfortable with this. She's comfortable with this. We have a really good working relationship and I don't really want to rock the boat. Um, so for now we're going to move forward. Um, business as usual. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you're not already, I would love it. If you would subscribe, we just hit a thousand subscribers and if I haven't already put it out yet, I should, we're really, really close to hitting the 4,000 watch hours. And I've told you guys, I am going to do a giveaway for a box of inventory once we hit the 4,000 watch hours and the 1,000 subscribers. So would love it if you guys would subscribe and, you know, click that little bell if you want to be notified when we post that giveaway video, if we haven't done it already. Um, I've already been kind of building the inventory box and I'm grabbing the items from my death pile and they are pretty good. So, um, it's definitely not going to be like a little dinky box that you're like, eh, okay, I'll list it or I'll add it to my death pile. Cause I'm not excited about it. Like I'm putting some bangers in there. So I promise you're going to want to enter to win this one. So Anywho, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you check back to see round two of this haul, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Have a great day.